තේල කටහ ගාතා As you are going to study the 100 tela kataha stantas it will be beneficial to know in short the story behind it in the past there lived in sri lanka a king called kalanithis the chief queen of this king had a love affair with a certain prince as the king came to know about it the prince fled away from that place there was a very virtuous mahatera under whom this king had that prince had their education on king's invitation this mahatera comes to the palace daily popping the path that prince wanted to send a love letter to the queen and he did in a tricky way he robbed up one of his fellow men as a monk and gave the letter to this disguised monk to be given to the queen and asked him to behind the mahater the mahater thought that this monk must be a friend of the king and the king thought that this monk must be a friend of the mahater the monk while going behind dropped the letter so that the queen could see it the king heard the noise of the letter and looked into it and misunderstood the handwriting to be that of the mahater because it was similar to the handwriting of the mahater the king ordered to put the mahater into boiling oil in a cauldron the virtuous mahater while in the boiling oil did insight meditation and attain arahantship and uttered hundred stantas leading to the lakkan and pass away may the meaning of these stantas help you also to attain nibbana this arahant had to face this disaster as a result of an unwholesome karma done in a previous birth it is as follows in a previous birth this arahant was shepherd boy when he was boiling milk a fly had fallen into the milk he took him out before he died again he fell into the milk and he saved him this time also a third time also he fell into the milk and the boy got angry and stirred the milk and the fly died this is the unwholesome act that the arahant had to face in the last birth namo tass bhagavato arhato samma sammutdass lankitantaro jayatu varanarajagami bhoginda bo ayat pin bahu sadu pachar nirato gun sanivaso namme tito vigat kod madavalepo me the sovereign of lanka subdue and conquer his defilements a sovereign whose deportment is equal to that of an elephant who is possessed of integrity and other good qualities whose limbs are long stout and elegant as the body of a nagakin and who is 
free from malice, observes the Dhamma and is always ready to do good to the righteous. Yo sabb lok mahito karona divaso mukha karo ravi kulam bar punna chandu nyayo dadin suvi pulam sakalam vibuddho Bow from head to heart to that benevolent supreme beings who has been compared to the full moon in the heaven of the solar rays and who has pointed out the road to Nibbana. Receive an adoration from all the master in the ocean of knowledge so pan mal mamalan tit sal yant sansar sagar samut tar nayase tu sab bhagati bayam vivajjit khem magam dhamma namant sada muni napanitam always bow down before the supreme law preached by sakya muni and equal to a flight of steps leading to heaven or to the vessel sailing across the ocean of metamorphosis or to a road free from infernal regions deyam tadapam piyant pasann chitta Dattva nara pala mular taram labante Tham sabb da das bale na pe supp satntam Sangham namat sat sada mit punya ketntam bow to the brotherhood of the select infinitely complemented by the buddha himself similar to a field of rich soil for the seeds of the meritorious and possessed of qualities capable of bestowing ultimate happiness on those that make the least offering with pure hearts Tejo balen mahata ratnat yatns Lokat yang samadigat jatiyen mukkhan Rakkhan chatntij tama ratnat yatns Tasma sada bhajat tam ratnat yambu Beings on account of the mighty influence of the three gems, myriads of tenants of the three worlds, Kama, Rupa and Arupa Lokas have attained the blissful state of Nibbana. There have been no refuge equal to that in the three gems, contract a habitual acquaintance with them. Lankitn saro parahite karato niraso Ratntam pe jagar rato karuna divaso 
लोकं विबोधयति लोकहिताय कामं धम्मं समाचारत जागरियानुयुत्ता Shake off your dull sloth and attend to meritorious deeds as the doctrine of merit and demerit is doubtless made known to the people through the sovereign of Lanka who does not feel satisfied in going good to the public and in spending the nocturnal hours on that account. सतोपकार निरता कुशले सहाया भोदुलभा भुवि नारा विह तप माद लंका दीपंग गुण धन कुशले सहायं Beans go to the king of Ceylon, the true friend of the meritorious, and without hesitation lead a life in accordance with the doctrines of the law, as it is absolutely rare to find people industriously active. and rendering true friendship in promoting the good of the world dhammo tilok sarano paramo rasanam dhammo mang ratano ratane suloke dhammo hawe Refrain from lethargic habits and observe the precept of the law, as it is evident that the law is the guide of all. It tastes sweeter than the sweetest, surpasses in value all the worldly gems, and dispels the grief of those in the three worlds. Nindam vinodayate bhavayatapmeya dukkang anitta mapite anatta tanta. Dehi ratin jahat jajjar bhajna be Dhammang sama charat jagariyanu yutta Take no rest, absorb holy in meditation on grief and on the inconstancy and soleness of God. the five contents of the body put an end to the desires of existence of this recurrent vessel of the body and lead for good and all a life acceptable in the eye of the law o ka se majj mam natthi suvikarit sang dhammam iti halatata kusalampayoge nalam tiyanda sutata bhuvanantaye cha kamam chatthi manujo marana pamuntu as there is the three worlds non in fact exempted from death either in the past present or future it is not right and proper to feed on procrastination and to say there is no leisure for me to do meritorious acts today and i will 
attend to them tomorrow kitto yatha nabhasike nachitevalindu bhumi samapatte bharataya khanena jatatme khalu karana mek matra lokam sadhananuduvam maranayagantum as it is evident that the stone thrown up is immediately attracted on the earth on account of its weight so it happens most undoubtedly that everyone born is destined to share the face of death kamang aras patato giri mudna to manjena kinche bayani sarana ayetu kamang vajanti maranam pibhavesu satanta bhogeratin pajhata pita jivite there is nothing that can intervene and prevent the fall of a man hurled from the edge of a precipice no is there anyone out of those in the three worlds free from death hence do not adhere to life and will kamang patanti maiya kalu asansadara vinjulta vitat megh mukha pamutta evang nara maran bhim papat majhe kamang patanti nahi ko chi bhave so nichu as it is natural to suppose that a shower of rain attended with lightning while leaving the clouds in the upper regions descends to the earth so living beings unerringly drop into the dreadful abyss of death they are being non permanent in the universe vela tate patu taro ru tarang mala na san vajanti sat tam salilalayas na san tatha samupayanti naramranam pana nidharunatare marano dadhimhi as the terrible big waves of the ocean roll and dash to wash away the sea beach so living beings roll and dash only to disappear in the mighty ocean of death rudho piso ratvarasans gajadhi pehi yodhehi chapi sablehi cha sayudhehi lokam vivanchiya sada marnu sabhoso kamang nihanti bhuvanantaya sali dandam it is an admitted fact that the bull like death perpetually devours and consumes the field of living beings escaping the vigilance of horses elephants and armed men of whale through guarded and protected by them bhomarutena mahata vihato padipo 
ஹிப்பங் வினாசமுகமேதி மாபோஹி லோக்கேதமரணச்சமீரணேனிப்பங் வினாசி நாராயுமாபீப்போ beans as the bright light of a candle is extinguished by a violent storm so in this world the shining lamp of age of living beings is put out by the strong wind of death rama juna prabhu ti bhupati pungavacha சூராபுரேரணமுகேஜிதாரிசங்கேபிஹச்சண்டமரணோகிமுகேஹாசங்கதாஜகதிகேமரணாபமுத இன் டேஸ் ஆஃப் யோ வேலியன்ட் மொனாஸ் சச்சஸ் ராம arjuna and others that had come off victorious in battle field disposing their bodies in waters of mortality were at last numbered with the dead thus in this world there are none excluded from death lakhi cha sagar patta sadradhara cha sampat ோச்சிவிதாபிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சிச்சி
रूप सोबा Process of eyes equal to two full-blown lotuses, and of a constitution replete with two and thirty physical features. The Buddha, Lord and Teacher of the three worlds, who had made an end of all the desires, at last was dashed by the wild and mighty elephant of. Death. Roga tu re su karuna na jara tu re su kida. As some wild fire that has caught a jungle is never satisfied, so the elephant of death always makes an end of everyone, betraying no mark of sympathy either with the sick, infirm, or young. Neither the ocean is overflowed. Though it receives the elephant of water from every river or source, no, the blazing fire gets tired consuming firewood. In like manner, the unrelenting angel of death is never satisfied, though he has had immense work of execution in the universe. The beings of the world who are destitute of wisdom, merit and self-denial and who are led away by the labyrinth of ignorance sink into the most horrid grave desiring the acquisition of wealth which is equal to waves or a transitory dream. Eko pi manjo rabi hanto malanti lokam kinnindaya pi jara marna nuyai ko.
unmerciful death being capable of destroying the three worlds what benefit could be derived from sleep and why any being born in this world and subject to decay and dissolution should adhere to wealth and existence when they are no better than the imaginary prospect of a phantom निच्छातुरं जगदिदं सहायं ससोकं दिस्वाच कोद मद मोह जरा भिभूतं उग्वेग मत्तं पियस न विंजति चे सोदारुनो न मरनं seen that the beings of the world are continually subject to decrepitude passion envy malice disease fear and grief should there be anyone that does not feel disgusted with existence in the universe he must be a cruel being and death itself is not so cruel let him by all means be reproached bho bho na pasant jara siddha ram hi machcho ma Why do you not see the angel of death armed with the sabra of infirmity continually destroying the three worlds and why do you take your rest indifferently during the three watches of the night always lead without hesitation a meritorious life that will entail neither birth nor death भावेत्रभो मरन मार विवंजनाय लोके सदा मरन संयमिमाया तत्ता एवं हि भावन तारसंस नरसंस तस beings in order to avoid the cold hand of death make it always a point to pass your time steadfastly in meditation on death and in the manner following he that is given up to such meditation finally puts an end to every mode of desire that is inherently injurious to living beings rupam jara piyata What is there substantial in life when the most graceful body is 
deformed by infirmity. When every degree of physical energy is snatched away by malignant disease, and when one's existence, supported by nourishment, is made away with. Beings that are subject to ruin by the drift of wind of actions of merit and demerit in the mighty ocean of metamorphosis with waves of dire disease hasten to do good and to obtain Nibbana leaving undone what may entail grief and pain on anyone. Neither his wealth, friends, children, relations, servants, nor his wife, as dear as life, accompany him that is about to depart this life. Only the result of his own deeds of merit and demerit done in this world. Bovidyu chanchal tare bhavasagaram hi Kittan pura kat maha pavanen tena Kamang vibhijjate kanen sarir nabha Hatte karot paramang gunahat sarang. Since the vessel of the body, while sailing in the ocean of eternity, is sure to be wrecked in a moment, being subject to the drift of violent storms of actions of previous births acquire noble merits. Nichan vibhijyate amak bhajanancha sangrakkito pe bahodha ih atnt bhavo Dhammang samacharat sang gatipatitang dhammo suchin mihameva palang dadati. The life continually held up in this world in various ways is as easily knocked down as an an yield vessel of clay lead a meritorious life that will take you to heaven since it is evident that good deeds are not left unrewarded even in the same stage of life rantva sada piyatare di devaranje 
ತಂಹಾವಚಂತಿ ವಿಬುಧ ಅಭೀಕೀನ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಸಂವಂ ಸುಖ ದಿವಿ ಭುವಿ ವಿಯೋಗ ನಿಂಠಂ ಕೋಪಸುಖೇಸುರಿ ಕರೆಯ in accordance with their merits the gods at the expiration of their term of blissfulness leave heaven and so do the children of the earth when their life is extinct now should any being of sound sense cleave to existence when it is limited both on earth and in heaven ಬುಂಧು ಸಾವಕ ಗನು ಜಗದೇಕನಾಥ ತಾರಲಿ ಪರಿವುತ ಪಿಚ ಪುಣ್ಣ ಚಂದು ಇಂದೋಪಿ ದೇವ ಮಕುಟಂಕಿತ ಪಾದ ಕಂಜೋ ಕೋಪೇನ ಪಿಂದ ನ ಸಮೋತಿ ಭಾವೇ ಸುಜಾತ ನೀದ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಬುದ್ಧ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ನೋ ದ ಮೂನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮಿರಿಯರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಇಂದ್ರ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲೆಸ್ಟಲ್ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ನೋ anything that has existence is free from extinction of existence hence life is equal to a bubble of water leela vatam sampi yobana rupa sobam atto pregnant with the desire of existence and lost in the labyrinth of ignorance why should you deviate from the path of rectitude see in that the flower of youth and beauty like it is to a diadem and the association with the agreeable though dear as life are in no way unlike the existence of a flash of lightning putto pita bhavati matu pati ha putto nari kada che janani cha pita cha putto The son in a previous birth took the place of the father and the father that of the son, the wife too, on another occasion was either the mother the father or the son hence this world is like a theater we are magnificent but contrary events are displayed antwa pi pure vivida pulla lata ಸುಂದರಿ ಕೇವೇ 
observe that there are beings now admitted to embrace a period of celestial happiness with goddesses in indra's paradise but now animated to suffer the grief and misery in hell where there are trees full of sharp thorns 16 inches long also beings that after an acquirement of irdi and after taking ambrosial food from golden dishes are born in the bottomless pit to sallow fiery thunderbolts they are buddha narisnsarvaraj so beings that after acquiring wealth and comfort after driving in stately carriage in this world as well as in the abode of the blessed invade the infernal regions to take their rounds the burnt of sharp weapons devangana lalita bin तरंग माले रंगे महिषसर जटा मकुटानुयाते रंतवा पुरे सुरवराप माद साया ते चापि घोर तरवे तरनिं पतन्ति there are moreover beings that are now doomed to take their turn in the veterani hell after passing a period of merriment and joy in heaven in the company of goddesses on the banks of the celestial river that springs from the habitable quarters of the god iswara dilani phal bal ta pal sankulani ramani nand nevanani manoramani dimbajjaral lith most embellished gardens abandoned with window and foliage and the highest meru and the kalisa mountains 
and the Kailas mountains dotted with the habitable groves of the most amiable goddess must eventually be brought to an end. Dola Nila Nalataranga Sama Evoga Vijupa Bhati Chapala Nicha Jivitani Maya Mari Chijala Soma Sama It is wise in any being to stick to life and wealth. When wealth is like wind, fire or water, when life is like a flash of lightning which is impermanent, and when the body is like a mirage, enchantment or the reflection of the moon in water. King ಜನೋ In this world of horror, there is nothing that gives felicity to beings. Neither is there any being that does not fall a prey of infelicity. And on this account, it is far from beings the desire of the supreme and intelligent being. who are subject to sickness infirmity and death to aim at rebirth ke cha pi panjalita loh gulangilanti sakka katanchid pi pani talena bhimang Is there anyone capable of holding a piece of red hot iron with his hand? And where is that iron? reasonable being truly wishing to embrace this ungovernable body which leaks out impurity and which is a source of grief and pain loke na matcho mam matte bhayam nara beings there's nothing in this world so dreadful as death no pain equal to that of ailment and no deformity in like manner similar to that of decrepitude yet in consequence of ignorance rebirth is desired nisar to nal kali kadali ಸಂಪ 
As there is nothing essential in this body, it is equal to a reed, bamboo, or the stem of a plantain tree. As a separate reality is in itself the cause of grief and pain, and the body as an ungrateful and discontented friend, though nourished and supported by every means of existence, does not follow the dead beyond the grave. On what account should an intelligent man feel the absence of desire? Seeing the state of this constitution, a constitution haunted by snakes of the four elements equal to a most rickety building and resembling a mass of form or a weapon pointed and poisoned. Ayukhayam samupayate khane khane pe Anvete machu hananaya jarase pani Kalam tatan parivatnta te tam nati tam Moment after moment, living beings advance nearer and nearer the grave, and the angel of death, armed with the scimitar of old age, follows them to make an end of their lives, as the time that is past cannot be recalled. It is indispensable that meditation on existence of grief in the universe should be adhered to. <laughs> To one that endures life only for a short duration, repetition of morality comes ever and anon. And to the other that is long lived, grief, pain, and infirmity are always on the increase. Existence in the universe in any state is thus mingled with grief and pain. Lead a meritorious life in order to make away with it. Paripilitesu 
लोकतो भववार के सु सबत्तना सुचारित पमाद काले भो भो न होति परम कुशल चिनाथ बीन्स बीन्स ले अप prudently a store of good deeds by those that have been thrown into the prison of metempsychosis where there is grief equal to fire no time should be lost apang sukhang jalalavan viyabhuti nagge dukkan to sa beans felicity in all the worlds is so insignificant that is is compared to a dew drop at the end of a blade of grass and infelicity so immense that it is equal to the mighty waters of the ocean the enjoyment of the former will prevent us from taking a right view since such enjoyment is inconsistent and may be reckoned in the scale of the latter hence in all the three worlds there is nothing but grief and pain khayo nayas anugachate the ignorant in this world destroy animal life and commit other sins to support their own lives although there is nobody that takes to the next world his life which is continually mingled with sin and defilement he that desires to have it always becomes the object of ruin देहंगत जरामरनाधिवास imagine in a sense of inconsistency the actual state of this body a body that is always useless and unacceptable destitute of praise and subject to infirmity and dissolution it bears a resemblance to a pot of impurity or dirt of a putrid smell to a serpent or malady to a draught of poison or a sword sharp and pointed 
It is admitted by men of understanding that there is no soul inherent either in the six organs or in the five constituent parts of a sentient being and that each constituent is compared to a rainbow, mirage, plant and tree, bubble of water, mass of form, flame of fire or swelling of a river. Maya Mare Chikadal Dalie Ne Kunj Ganga Tarang Jal Bumbul Sanni Besu Kande Su Pancha Su Chagayat Ne Su Te Su Atta Na Vinjati Ko It is absurd to believe in the existence of a soul in this body, a body which is unsteady and perishable as a blaze of fire. The idea of a soul is as absurd as that of a barren woman's son running a race along the shaft of a carriage made of the horns of a rabbit. Vanja Sutho Sasarisana Maya Rathetu Dadiya Chetira Taram Saduram Gahitntva It is rank nonsense to say that there is a soul in this body, a body that is actually soulless and equal to a plant and tree. He that erroneously persists in believing that there is a soul is indeed in no way unequal to one who attempts to drink in order to slake his thirst, a draught of mirage out of a cup made of a bubble of water. Balo yatha salil bum bula baj nena akanta to vat pibeya mari chito yang atta ti sar rahitam khadali. The endeavors of an unintelligent man to add to mirage scents extracted from the flowers of, of a pig tree are all in vain, and in like manner he that persists in the erroneous impression that there is a soul in this body reaps no benefit since there is no soul actually in existence. 
There is nothing to constitute a soul either in the five constituents parts the body, sensation, perception, habitual tendencies and consciousness or in the six personal residences the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind and he that persists in the belief of the existence of a soul is evidently compared to one preserving to obtain a solid beam from the stem of a plant and tree. Pusu yatta hikadai suvinim bujanto sarang tadapampam pino paladeya kamang kande sufancha suchala This constitution, which is painful, inconsistent, and indeed unfavorable, should not be taken that it is intended for the sake of enjoyment as there is nothing substantial in it. Such beings the case acquire noble merits without hesitation. Suttang hinana patta bhava mihatnthi kinchi Dehang hinana khalu kochi mihatnthi satnto Deho sabhava rahito khana bhanga yutnto there is, in fact, no constitution apart from the five constituent parts of the body, and no cloth that is not composed of the thread. In like manner, on the face of the earth, there is nothing in this body that should be styled the soul save the five constituent parts of the body which are mutable and at every moment subject to dissolution. <laughs> As the silly heart in vain runs after the fanciful sight of yonder mirage, taking it to be a seat of water, so do people give way to desire purely from a false 
impression that there is steadiness in the unsteady existence of nature. Dehe sabhav rahite parikap pasindhe Atantana vinjati vinjo mimantalikke Bhavet bhavana rata vigatam pamada Sambhasavam pananaya anantha sanyam Attend directly to meditation on the subject of absence of a soul. As there is no soul contained in the body and the body similar to a flash of atmospheric lightning is produced by the conception of thought in accordance with the ordinary operations of nature. Lala kare sarudirasan so asano litan Dehang imam kali mala kali nang asaran Satanta sada pariharan ti jigunjani yang Nana suci paripunna ghatan yatheva It is always usual with beings to support this corporeal constitution, a constitution which is useless, disgusting, filled with excrement and uncleanness, composed of spittle, impurity, blood, tears and fat, and equal to a pot full of different species of dirt and soil. Nahatva jalanji sakalang chatu sagras Merupa manam pigand manutaranj Papmpoti neva manujo hi suching kadachi King bhovi pasan satagunang Beings, man will never be free from impurity, nor see anything good in this human frame. Although he may use for his ablution the immense mass of water contained in the four great oceans, and for his perfumery an enormous quantity of scent as high as the highest meru. Deho sa eva vividha suchi sannidhanu Deho sa eva vada vandhana roga bhuto Deho sa eva navadha this body, the container of urine and excrement which is subject to grief, pain and disease may be compared to a carbuncle from which matter comes out at nine different places, nor is there any other horrid grave than that of the body itself. Anto gatan yadiva mutta kari sabhago deha bahin ati chareya vinikamitva Mata pita vikaruna cha vinatta te ma kamam bhaveyu kimu bandha sutta cha dara. Even parents are apt to entertain a feeling of antipathy 
against their children. If urine and excrement contained within their bodies are placed in a contrary position, exposed to the view of others, what more can we expect from our children, wives and relations? Dehaṁ yathā nava mukaṁ kimi saṅga gehaṁ Maṁ sarthi sedharu dhira kalilaṁ vigandhaṁ Pōsinti vividha pāp mihā charitnvā Te mohita marana dhamma maho Oh, it is indeed a matter of deep regret to think of the man led away by ignorance and actually given up to sinful actions in this world in order to support his body. A stinking body subject to dissolution containing nine passages invaded by worms, micrococi of 80 species and composed of blood, phlegm, flesh and bones. Gandopa me vivida rogha nivas bhute kayo sada rudira mutta karis punne Yo etnta nanda tinaro sasi gal bhakke kamanji so chati parathar sabal buddhi. He who takes delight in this body, a body equal to a blister, subject to various disorders, continually filled with blood water and fat and eatable by dogs and foxes is a man destitute of wisdom and exposed to grief in his future state. Beans, the body from which urine and excrement perpetually run out, is equal to a leaky pot of salt, insignificant as a bubble of water, suspicious as the haunt of a serpent and always as unpleasant in smells as a chessful. As the blooming lotus that shoots up from a seat of soil composed of mud and dirt should not be condemned because its origin is such. So one's favorable disposition for the good of the world is never unworthy of praise. In this world, O oh, in the next, because it is the result produced by the combination of the five constituent parts. Dhatnthin se bhag paripura taro vise so 
ಕಾಯೆ ತಥಾಹಿ ನರ ನಾರಿ ಘನಸ್ಲೋಕೆ ಕಾಯೆ ಸುಖಿ ಪಲಮಿ ಹಂತಿ ಚ ಪಂಡಿತ ಕಾಮಂ ತದೇವನುಹೋತಿ ಪರೋಪಕಾರ ಎಟ್ ಎನಿ ರೇಟ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಈ ದ ಮೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಕಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ there is no other benefit the intelligent derive from it than that of doing good to others phosena pandit tarena tathapi deho sambant na chirat rang paripalaniyo ಧಮ್ಮಂ ಚರೇಯ ಸುಚಿರ ಖಲು ಜೀವಮಾನು ಧಮ್ಮೋಹವೇ ಮನಿವರೋ ಇವ ಕಾಮದೋಭೋ ಓಲ್ ದೋ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸಚ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಬಲ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ common sense and during that period of existence he should lead a meritorious life since merit as a precious gem in this world never fails to attain the object that may be desired kere atha supari bhavit mosadham hi ಸ್ನೇಹೇನ ಓಸದ ಬಲಂ ಪರಿಭಾಸತೆ ಧಮ್ಮೋ ಯಥಾಯಿ ಸಮಾಚರಿತೋ ಹಿ ಲೋಕೆ ಛಾಯಾವಯತಿ ಪರಲೋಕ ಮಿತ್ವಜಂತ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡ್ರಗ್ the essence of the one comes in contact with that of the other so as to produce a salutary effect and in like manner the result of one's merits acquired in this world like his shadow that never leaves him the companies him who is at the point of death ಕಾಯಸ್ಸೋಚಿರತರಸಯಥಾನುಕೂಲ ಛಾಯಾತಿರುಚಿರಮಲದಪ್ಪನೇತು ಕತ್ವಾತೇವರಮಕುಶಲ ಪರತ್ನ As a man embellished against a grand reception sees his figure in a bright mirror, so the brilliant result of noble merits actually acquired by a man sparkles in anticipation of of his next birth dehe tata vividha dukkha nivas bhute mohap mad vasanga sukha sanyamulha tikhe atha kuramukhe madhuleh mahano ಬಾಲಂಚ ದುಃಖ ಮನುಗಂಚತಿಹೀನ ಪಂಜು ಎಸ್ ಅ ಫೂಲ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ರೇಸ ಡಿಪ್ ಇನ್ ಹನಿ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ವರ್ ಟು ಫೀಲ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೂಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಮೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ 
that there is something permanent in this constitution subject to pain of birth and death in every mode of life. Sankapparaga vigate niratatta bhave Dukkhaṁ sadā samadhi gacchati appa pañyo Mulhasya ceva sukha sanya mihatthi loke Kiṁ pakka meva nanuhoti vichāra māne Beings, void of sense, and attached to the body by insatiable desire always entail grief and fancy that happiness is sought by those incarnated in the universe. But it is the opinion of the wise and the learned that incarnation in the universe is no better than the taste of poisonous kimpala plant on the summits of the Himalaya. Sambhop bhog dhan dhanya vises labhi Rupen bhos makarandh jasanni bhopi Yo yobh nepi maranam labhate akamam Kamam parat Anyone that actually destroyed the life of any being in his previous birth is sure to be snatched away by the angel of death most unexpectedly in the prime of his youth, possessed as he is of large wealth and of beauty as great as that of Adonis. Soya chako bhavate bhin kapal hatho Mundo di ghak rasate icha tajjayanto Bhikkhaṁ sadhāri bhavane sakuche levaso Dehe parathya parachit haro naro yo He that was guilty of stealing the property of others in a previous birth becomes a beggar and dirty vagrant begins his daily bread at the doors of his enemies, exposed to their derision and insult and showing signs of extreme fear. Itthi na munchati sada puna itthi bhava nari sada bhavati so puri so paratantha Yoachareya paramadar langaniyam Ghorancha vindati sada vyasanancha nekam The woman that had no control of her passions and committed adultery in a former birth will not be born a man and the man guilty of the same crime will no longer continue to be a man, but will become a woman exceedingly miserable birth after birth. Dino vigand vadano cha jalo apanyo Mugo sada bhavati apmpiyadas no cha Pappoti dukkha matulanche manusha bhuto Vachang musa bhanati yohi apanya sattu An unintelligent human being that lies will always 
be vulgar and low foolish and dumb in his subsequent incarnations with a stinking mouth and a displeasing cut birthmark should that human being be born a male by reason of his past merits he will be wretched beyond description ummat ka vigat lanj guna bhavanti dina sada vyasan sok parayana ch jata bhave su vividhe su virup deha one that has habitually imbibed poisonous and intoxication liquors will become mad and lamentable low in birth and wealth and shameless and unvirtuous he will be deformed destitute of friends and relatives and born a quad drop in many a succeed in birth papa ni na ih a charita ni yani yo vas ko dina hota ni anap ka ni लद्धान घोर मतुलं नरके सुदुखं पपपोति वित्त विविधव व्यसनञ्च नेकं हि हु इज गिल्टी ऑफ दीस सिन्स इन द स्टेज ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस विल हियर आफ्टर टेक हिज टर्न इन द इन्फर्नल रीजंस as a matter of reward there he will remain for millions and millions of years in wretchedness incomparable and will reappear in the human form loaded with grief pain and misery lokatte su sakale su samangna kinche लोकसंसंतिकुनाधिगतुखोभवीयंगूनिवर्स दस नथिंग that should be compared to the good law so far as it concerns the future wealth of mankind by its effect which is exceedingly vast and which contributes to give a death blow to every depravity of sin may i always be so fortunate as to attain the state of happiness both worldly and nibbani lokatte su sakale su cha sambha satta mitta cha manjari pu bandhu jana cha sambhe te sambha da vigat rog bhaya visoka May my relatives, friends and enemies and those that are neutral and all beings in all worlds become fortunate and happy and free from grief, fear and disorder. kayo kari se bharito miya bin kumbho kayo sada kali malau vyasana divaso kayo vihanyati 
सुखंति लोके कायो सदा मरण रोग चरा दिवासो दिस कंस्टिट्यूशन विच इज ऑलवेज सब्जेक्ट टू सिकनेस इन्फर्मिटी एंड डिसोल्यूशन मे बी कंपेयर टू अ ब्रोकन पॉट फुल ऑफ डर्ट इट इज एप्ट टू फॉल इन टू एर एंड रोइन एट एवरी स्टेज एंड टू थिंक दैट एवरी थिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज इंटेंडेड फॉर द गुड ऑफ द लिविंग सोयोगनोति थविरोति च बालकोति सत्ते न पिंखति विहानि तरेव मन्तु सोहंतितो पिसाइतो पिच पक्कमंतो गच्छामि मच्छवदनं नियतं तथाहि with regard to the old the young or the infant the angel of death makes no distinction whatever but involves them indiscriminately in morality whether i am standing moving or resting i am advancing near the jaws of death as death is my fate ಮಿತ್ತಮಸುಭಂಗಸ್ತಿ भावेत भावन ओ बीन्स हूज बॉडीज हैव हैड द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ट्रांसमिग्रेटरी एक्सिस्टेंस ऑलवेज अटेंड टू मेडिटेशन एस द रिपीटेड बैड क्वालिटीज आर एक्चुअली इनहरेंट इन योर बॉडीज those that are given to meditation should make it a point at all times to do so they should meditate on kind feelings towards all on the lord buddha on his doctrine on the bad state of our nature and on death दानादि पुण्य क्रियानि सुकुद्रियानि कत्वाचतम फलमसेसमिहप्पमियं देयं सदा परहिताय सुखाय चेव beings attend to retributive deeds of meritorious actions in this world and reap their ample rewards be charitable in rendering others what will give them satisfaction and pleasure because wealth acquired is nothing compared to contentment gained by charity he tum vinan bhavati hi cha kinchi loke sandov pani tal ghat na he tu jato ಸತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಪ್ಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ 
there must be a cause for every effect. In like manner, there cannot be any birth, death or existence in the animal kingdom apart from the combination of the five constituents. Kammas karan mayanyi yata avijnja Bhokamna samadhi gachati jati bhedam Jatin paticca ca jara marna dhidukkhaṁ Satanta sada patila bhanti anadi kale Beings, as ignorance is the cause of existence, so the result of merit and demerit is the cause of birth in various ranks and grades. Thus, in consequence of birth, beings in their transmigratory existence become continually subject to grief, decay and death. Kammam yathan bhavati hacha mohana sa Kammakhaya pichan hoti bhave sujati Chatikhaya iha jara marna di dukhaṁ Sambhakkayo bhavati dipe vanilena by the destruction of ignorance, the desire of existence disappears. And by the suppression of the desire of existence, rebirth ceases. And by the extinction of rebirth, grief, infirmity and dissolution cease. As if the light of a candle is out. Yo pasati ha satatam munidham kayam buddham sa pasat inaro iti so avocha buddham cha dham mamalan cha tilok natam Beings, it is said by our Lord Sakya Singha that he who in this world examines the constitution of the Buddha's doctrine of enlightenment sees the Buddha himself. Endeavor to comprehend the teacher of the three worlds and his holy doctrine. It is invariable practice of the virtuous to do so. Salang vabho sunisitang hadai nimugam Do satyang vivida pap malena nitantam Nana vidab vyasana bhajana mappa sannam Panyama yena balisena nirakarota Beings, it is absolutely necessary to be saved by the hook of wisdom to pull out the principal causes of sin, avarice, malice and ignorance, which are unpleasant and equal to a sharp thorn pierced in the heart and which lead to ruin and every mode of evil. Na kampayanti sakla pichaloka dhamma Chitntang sada gat papakilesa sallam 
ಪಾದಯ ವಿವಿಧ ವಿಷಯ ಸಮಗ ಪುಟ್ಟಂಗಿಖರ ಮಹತನಿಲೇನ ಆಸ್ ಮೌಂಟ್ ಮೇರು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಶೇಕನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ವಿನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ the attraction of existence is always unshaken by the eight vicissitudes loka dhamma of the world and the five desires kilesas in their various complete stages sansar dukha magneya yatha munindo ಗಂಭೀರ ಪಾರಮಿತ ಸಾಗರ ಮುತ್ತರಿ ನೀಯಂಗಬೋಧಿ ನಿಪುಣ ಹಥ ಮೋಹ ಜಾಲೋ ತಸ್ಮ ಸದಾ ಪರಹಿತ ಪರಮಂಚಿನಾಥ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ always give your time for the good of others as the buddha the supreme lord who sailed across the deep ocean of ten noble attributes paramitas regardless of the horrors of metamorphosis and who destroyed the flame of ignorance and by self exertion gained a full knowledge of all that should be known o hayaso digatha mukha sukham paresam attaya sangvari bhavesu mahambhayesu evang sada parahitam suspending the attainment of nibbana at a time when he was not far from it sakya muni passed many a dreadful birth on account of his sympathetic feelings towards others so do i give you instructions chiefly with the object of doing good to others ladhan dullabh tarant manusyo ni ಸಂ ಪಂಚರಹಿತ ಖನ ಸಂಪದಂಚನ ಆಸವನು ದೇಕಹಿತ ಕೋಪನವರ ಭಜೇಯದಮ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ that anyone of sound understanding should wander away from the noble path of the law after attaining the most difficult object of attainment for a human and after gaining all the varieties of wealth and luxury and a comprehensive knowledge of the doctrine capable of giving a death blow to the desires of existence ladhan buddh samayam ati dullabhanch sadham magg masamam shiva dhan tathev ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಮಿತ್ತ ಪವರಿ ಮತಿ ಸಂಪದಂಚ 
ಕೋಬುಂಧಿಮಾನವರನ್ನ ಭಜೇಯ ಧಮ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ವಾಂಡ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ನೋಬಲ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒಬ್ಟೇನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ರೇಯಾ ಎರ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಲೆಸ್ and form out sublime dhamma sad dhamma that brings forth the safe place nibbana and also after obtaining the most excellent noble friends and the good fortune of intelligence evam pi dullabataram vibhave sulad ಮಚ್ಚೇರದೋಸವಿರತ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒಬ್ಟೇನಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ರೇಯಾ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಎಬ್ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಿಂಜಿನಸ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ yourself and others be consistent with the practice of faith etc be always diligent and make merit for the attainment of deathlessness amata nibbana